Starting over at Benton High School, Aiden Colvin and Davis Sellers off to continue their football careers, and Logan Smith continuing his soccer career. Colvin excited for the opportunity to continue to compete at Sterling College. Pretty excited. It's a um, big day. It's an emotional day. I'm getting pretty close to leaving high school, but it's on to better things, going to call, play college football. Over at Airline, the Viking football team sending four players to the next level. John Thomas Daigle to Southern Arkansas, Tavon Patterson to Louisiana Christian, Willie Sanders to Northeastern State, and Mason Wallace to Sterling College. Mainly because I'm from Kansas, so it's a small town. Uh, I'm used to small town living, so the coaches, they're all cool. They're all, they all remind me of coach, like Coach Meeks and all them. Uh, they're getting the, I will guarantee them the hardest working player. And and somebody who plays aggressive goes 110% every snap. Down Raspberry Lane, the Huntington Raiders coming off another successful season. They're sending two to the college ranks. Defensive back Zaylin Zeus Thomas will head to Lane College in Tennessee, where he's ready for a change of scenery. When we went up there, it seemed like they care, like they're ready to learn. And I believe that they can make me a student athlete. Star running back Demaja Riley, well, he was one of the most exciting players in Shreveport this year, and he's ready to take that big play capability with him to Northeastern State. It was a brotherhood, and they wanted me there. They seen a lot of the tension in me, and they feel like they can make me better, and I feel like I can make their team better. So. With that being said, it's like we just connected. Okay. Bozier, we had to interrupt Cedric Applewhite during Bozier's basketball practice. The two sports star has had a roller coaster recruiting journey, but he's finally found a home with McNeese State football. I was, you know, Houston Baptist. Like when I, that was my first ever visit, so I had like just caught the vibe. The players and coaches gave me like just all the love they showed me. So then the last week before signing week. I had went on a visit to McNeese and just everything like just changed my mind. Seeing the facilities, the coaches, knowing what they want to do, how they're going to come in and change the program, and knowing our class can be the class that brings McNeese back to a powerhouse. Not too far away at Calvary, three Cavaliers signed their NILs today with Walter Williams and Shunsey Malone pairing up and going to Grambling State and Miles Williams. Well, he's headed to Southern Arkansas, joining new head coach Brad Smiley. Um, four years ago, whenever he was in Northwestern, I went and he's followed me all throughout my uh, high school adventure. And um, now him being the head coach, he decided to recruit me. And it was awesome. It's just awesome how it all played out. So very thankful for it. Let's keep things moving over to Parkway now. The Panthers surprise of 5A last year, sending a trio of guys to the college ranks, Jaden Hardy and Jason Williams to Missouri Valley College and Ron Richmond to Hutchinson College, all going the junior college route hoping to bolster their stock and eventually make it to the D1 level. I'm just excited that I get, you know, another opportunity to play football. You know, it's my dream to go out in college, you know, make it to the pros one day maybe. Mainly it was the coaching staff. The coaching staff made me feel like it was like already a family from the visit. So, yeah, I just, I went there and had to go commit. At Captain Shreve, the Bayou Classic almost broke out in the gym foyer. Kelby Givens going to Southern, Braylon Finney going to Grambling. These two ready to compete against each other for the next four years. It's going to be pretty fun. Uh, hopefully we can get a couple of pitches after the game. But, you know, we, we got to win all four years. You know, we're going to have the trash talk just going to keep on coming. Well, they're going to be rooting. I'm, I'm hoping they're rooting for the G, you know. It's just going to be a great game. The new, the new coaching staff, the rebuilding. Coach Simon, he was just a great dude. He just seemed like a great dude. So uh, I trust him and, you know, uh, let's get to work. At Houghton High School, the Bucks had three players signed with DJ Gladney going to UL Lafayette, Jason Thomas to Arkansas Monticello, and Chris Obregon heading to Ottawa. Coaches think I can do great things over there. Um, it's a great atmosphere, a great family-like atmosphere. And I love it over there. I mean, I'm excited about um, getting there and making a difference. That, that's what I um, love to do, just to make a difference on the team. And that's what I, that's what I like to do. Great community there. Uh, they preach family, and I love being fam part of a good family. Man. It's a family environment they have. They uh, all have a bond. 